Hello Champions and Future Champions, Hello Chessmod Family, GM Gabuzian is here with you and let's begin with our daily lessons. As we mentioned previously, we are also going to pay big attention to the end games, cause they are also very very important. Today we will review some examples when we have bishop and pawn or bishop and pawn against opponent's pawns and we will see some winning and drawish cases. Usually. When we have a bishop and pawn versus the lonely king, it's almost always winning. There are some exceptions possible and we will talk about it. When the pawn is located from the b to the g file, so it means not on the edge of the board, it's gonna be always easily winning. But on the edge of the board, there are some exceptions possible and there is a golden rule. If our bishop color is matching to the promotion square color, it's winning. So for example, in this position, white is just going a6, followed by a7, a8, queen, and it's an easy win. But let me change this position for you and show you the exception. Now we have the same situation, but already our bishop color is not matching to this square. And what's the issue with this? Now if we play a6, okay, black is going king to a8. How to be? If we go bishop f4, it's gonna be a stalemate. So this square will be covered and this king will not have any options. If we go a7, it's still gonna be a stalemate. If we make a move with our king, let's say king to c6, black just goes king b8. I don't know, king b6, king a8. How to improve? And there is no way to improve in this position and whenever we have a bishop and pawn which is not matching to the promotion square of bishop on the edge of the board. It's gonna be a drawish case. Let's go ahead to the next position. As we already know the rules, here white is taking black queen in this position, playing bishop takes c6. You can pause the video and think, how will you play here? If you suddenly take king b6, it's a big mistake, cause now you are leaving a bishop which is matching to this pawn promotion square. So white is gonna be winning. For that reason, after bishop takes c6, Black is taking king takes c6, so leaving this bishop on the board and after a5 is gonna be playing king to b7. So making a draw in this position. Let's now go ahead and see another example. So we have another spot when we have bishop not matching to promotion square, but this time we have three pawns instead of one. Do you think it makes sense? Doesn't matter at all. If we make this pawn to the infinity number on the edge of the board and with this bishop, there is just no way to promote a queen. Again, black is just staying on a8 and b8 squares and we have no any option to remove it. We go a6, king a8, a5, king b8, no matter how you are pushing the pawns because you don't have any ideas to remove this king from this side. So again, gonna be drawish. Let's now change position and see another example. In this case, it's already a bit interesting. Now we have again this bishop, which is not matching to this square, but there is a very important trick in this position, guys. You may pause the video again and try to think about it. If it's white to move, how will you play now? White is having a winning option, and the idea is to play bishop b8. We are preventing this king from going to the a8 square, because once it's going there, it's again gonna be drawish. So now black has to go king a5, king b7, king b5. What we are gonna do, firstly we'll try to remove this king far from this side of the board and only then we'll decide to capture the pawn and win the game. So bishop d6, king a5, bishop c7. King b5, bishop b6, good maneuver, and this is forcing black to go even farther from a8 square. So, king c4, king c6, king b3, bishop c5, king c4, bishop d6. Black has to do something, going, let's say, king to d3, king b5, king e4, and important moment. After king takes a4, black is playing king d5. I will ask you one more time, what will you play here? If you suddenly decided to keep the bishop, again, it's a big mistake, guys. If you play bishop f4, black can just play king to c6 and suddenly after king b7 and king a8, it's gonna be a draw. For this reason, after king d5, we're sacrificing bishop and playing king b5. 
King d6, King b6, King d7, King b7. With our king, we prevented all the options of black king to reach this side of the board, and we are just going to push our pawn, easily winning. Let me mention, if in the first position, when white is playing bishop b8, if it's black to move, black is just easily making a draw with king a7 move, just going to a8 square. Let me now change this position again for you. Messy, isn't it? After seeing only bishop and pawn on the board, now there are so many pieces. But okay, it's a very interesting study. It's gonna be black to move in this position. And I will ask you, what is the evaluation? Is black positions lost or there are chances to survive? You can leave your thoughts and ideas in the comments section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your likes, subscriptions and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.